Yeah, this is Paul. Yeah. You know, I I'm reading the dictionary today and I'm really thinking about what's really funny. <laughs> Haven't sent hundreds of thousands of emails. <laughs> Probably having had old oh, five to ten Gmail accounts where <laughs> I inform law enforcement that my constitutional rights are being violated, <laughs> and they just sit back and they laugh and laugh about, ha ha, there's no possible way you'll get your sons. <laughs> I'm a sheriff or a police officer, and I control the laughter of the population. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. You know, I, I had documented a number of employees that I'm going to need for the different offices that I want to have. There's office number three and those are attorneys that I had expected to employ so as to manage the lawsuits of those that are elected to office and there's those that are elected to office that they have such a funny sense of humor you know oh the fish way. <laughs> How fish think it's so funny torturing American citizens being in that family that never gets arrested and never goes to prison. <laughs> because fish never go to prison. Everybody knows that. If you're in the fish family, you get whatever you want and there's no way that you would ever get arrested. <laughs> even if you're client here you're 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 even if you're here you're even if you're 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 you're, you're doc even if your your crimes were documented. <laughs> You know how law enforcement doesn't arrest the royal family of those that know the way. <laughs> Nothing so funny as to think that just because you have a badge on that you'd ever be held responsible or accountable for the crimes that you've committed. It's almost like living in a society where if you're in the family, you can torture anyone you want and you'll never get arrested. <laughs> you can have whatever you want and just pay for the next show, just pay for the next show. <laughs> you know, I really wanted that office number three and, oh, a thousand or two thousand. <laughs> well, attractive. What is attractive? That's a good question. Let's say I was in, I was in the office and I was surrounded by a thousand attorneys, women attorneys, those that have just graduated from law school and passed the bar and they're within the last seven years they're, they're called young lawyers divisions of the bar association. Yes. They really don't know anything about the law. They did go to law school and they did pass the bar, but other than that, they don't know how the law really works. <laughs> and I'm like, well, <laughs> in this office, I'm going to have to ask you to put your clitoris on my right nipple. Oh, <laughs> now it's a secret society of those that are my employees and they don't know. <laughs> We never talk about it. As the employer, it seems kind of, well, bizarre, <laughs> absurd, <laughs> funny, really, in that weird sort of way, <laughs> to ask every young lawyer in my office that just graduated from law school within the last seven years that if you could just put your clitoris on my right nipple when we get to working, <laughs> I'd like to be in your hair. <laughs> that way I can control your laughter and the office will find funny what I find funny. <laughs> I think that every employee should laugh about what I think is funny. <laughs> and the controlling of the laughter of the office is important to me. You know, I probably made thousands upon thousands of videos and no one finds them humorous. <laughs> they don't. They're, nobody watches these videos. <laughs> when you think about it, no one really cares about these stupid videos that I put on YouTube or I put on my Facebook account because nobody watches these. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody watches them. And 
now I'm gonna have to get a thousand volunteers <laughs> those that are attorneys or <laughs> those that want to work with attorneys <laughs> you don't have to be a paralegal <laughs> let's say you had very very sensitive areolas <laughs> For lots of reasons, there's been too much electricity that's gone through your areolas because they've been in the hair of somebody else that's been controlling your laughter. <laughs> right. I'm going to rearrange it where I'm going to start my new secret society for those that have super sensitive areolas. Yes! <laughs>